Hello everyone, this is your Sports On Demand for Sunday. The Chassel Girls High School basketball team returned from the Lower Peninsula after finishing second in the state in Class D. Plenty of fire trucks and other vehicles led the long parade back to the Panthers gym. The p players are still waking up from a trip they'll remember for a long time. The Panthers defeated Waterford Our Lady of the Lakes in the semifinal Thursday before dropping the final Saturday to Adrian Lenaway. Christian bringing home the runner-up trophy. The most memorable game may have been the quarterfinal, though, Tuesday in Sault Ste. Marie. I've never been more proud to represent Chassel than I was when we were playing in the game against Gaylord St. Mary. They walked in to the Sioux. We had to go the night before because we had five hours and they had an hour and 45 minute drive. And they thought they were coming in and they were just going to beat us and go home. They didn't even go and have a shoot around. They didn't do anything extra. They just showed up and smiled the entire time. Well, the smiles went away after we beat them and they couldn't do anything. And I think we took their smiles and we kept going down the state. It was unbelievable seeing how many fans we had supporting us from all over the Copper Country. The whole week was the best week of our lives, I think. It was, we had so many memories and did everything together and we broke records, we made new, made new school records and it was just something crazy. Millie Allen's mother once upon a time was a member of those very good Barriga teams in the early 1990s, but Millie's mom only reached the semifinals, so Millie definitely one-upped her. Chassel finished its best season in girls history at 26-2. To the hockey side of things, after last night's win in the WCHA championship game over Northern Michigan, the Michigan Tech Huskies found out their spot in the NCAA tournament. The Huskies will be the four seed in the East region and will take on the number one seed in the region, the Big Ten tournament champ, Notre Dame. The Huskies and Fighting Irish will face off at 3 p.m. Eastern on Friday and will be broadcasted on ESPN2. So make sure to mark your calendars for that one. The other teams in the region are Providence and Clarkson. That game will be played at 6.30 p.m. on Friday and can be seen on ESPNU. Both of those games will be played in Bridge. Port, Connecticut. Over to Lakeview Arena in Marquette for the U18 AA State Championship in Midget Hockey. Team Copper Country taking on the Michigan Ice Hawks. Second period, Dawson McKay passes to Sam Urkla, who nets the first goal of the game. It was one to nothing, Copper Country. Still in the second period, same combo would go to work. This time, Urkla's shot is saved, but McKay there for the rebound, somehow poked that one through, and it was two to nothing, Copper Country. They weren't done either. On a breakaway, this is P.J. Donnelly, able to get that one past the goalie, even though he got his glove on it. 3 nothing Copper Country at that point. They really dominated the middle period. Brent Locus here decided to put the cherry on top to give Copper Country a 5 to nothing lead, and that is how this one would end. Congratulations to Team Copper Country on winning the state championship. The team now qualifies for the national tournament, which will take place in Green Bay, Wisconsin, April 5th through April 9th.